And Eric Chesley just made a great run. That's going to put him there. Alan Bradshaw, you know, we get through the weekend and he's not in the show or at the bottom. He's going to want that run back. Four wide claims another victory. Chris Demke, blower car. Lane number four out there ahead of everybody. Blower cars have a little different program. Ron Anderson coming at you, lane one. Dr. Lip Bang. Summer Richardson and Taylor Vetter right in the middle. There's Taylor with the red line oil and Swoop Motorsports. Summer Richardson. Ron Anderson has one of the more colorful race cars in the alcohol ranks with the Dr. Lip Bangs folks. Mobile One Dragster heading back to the pits. So a couple of years ago, Ron's team brought up that, you know, the Dr. Lip Bang, Lip Bomb. It's a, you know, it's a lip bomb. Right. But it's got, like, a little extra something going on. Like, a little, like, popping and right, snapping yeah. kind of experience. You know, it's like this yeah, extra sense. it's like somebody sense. put Pop Rocks in a That's exactly what it's like. Right. And it just kind of keeps you entertained, wondering what's going to happen next. And uh, and that's it. But he's really evolved his program over the past couple of years, coming out he here, has. having some great success. Summer yeah. Richardson. Getting involved as well with 530, one of the Randy Meyer cars. See Randy out there. Got the OnlyFans sponsorship on the side. Taylor Vetter was able to score a national event win the finals last year in an unorthodox <laughs> style. And then there's Chris Demke. World champion in lane number four. Chris Demke, part of the quad where we have three blower cars all run in the 20s. First time out. Wow, Taylor better knock the tire off. 5.300, Ron Anderson, best of the quad. 5.33.9 for Summer Richardson, 273.05 miles an hour. Taylor Vetter, 11.38. You mentioned it. She knocked the tire off and was going to coast. And then Chris Demke, Demke goes 5.37.9, 270. Ron Anderson, you mentioned the gains they made with that program. Ty Brown tuned in at that car made a couple really spectacular runs for them in Pomona and that's a great run as well up to the number five spot for Ron the second quickest of the injected cars behind Mike Coughlin who's coming up next and only three thousandths of a second behind Mike Coughlin so that's a